Hello guys and this is the second video of the CryEngine series and today I'm going to go over installing the SDK. So with that you want to go ahead and go over to crydev.net. You can just type it into Google. Sorry. And then you can just go straight to the download page. You won't have to install anything when it comes to uh, CryEngine. You can just go ahead and um, uh, just extract the file and then put it on your desktop. Well, while you're waiting for it to download, you want to make a new folder in the location which you're going to put CryEngine. So I'm going to go ahead and put it here because with CryEngine it doesn't come in a folder for some reason. I would have thought it would. Uh, downloading might take like two minutes or so. So once you've done that, you want to go ahead and register for an account on the website because when you start up CryEngine, it asks you to log in. So I'm just going to go ahead and just type in something here. And the password. Okay, now you've made an account. When once uh, crying is open, you're gonna have to sign in with the information you just selected. So I'm gonna go ahead and close it up. We won't need to go on the website anymore. But if you want, you can go check out the forums on there. They've got some like useful tutorials, stuff like that. And if you need any help, someone will try and reply to you. Or you can just uh, comment in the video, which I'm having problems with on the CryEngine series. And I'll try get back to you as soon as I can. So I'm just going to go ahead and minimize that. And once CryEngine's finished downloading, it shouldn't take too long, you can just go ahead and extract it. Uh, you won't need WinRAR, you can just use like 7-zip or just extract it. Most people put it in a RAR but these guys are good enough to put it in a zip file. Okay, once you've opened that you want to open up the uh, zip file. As you'll see here it doesn't come in a folder already. So I'm going to go extract it into the CryEngine folder that I've made on your des on your my desktop. I'm going to give that a while to extract and once you open it I'm going to show you where you want to open it because some people have been having problems just opening up CryEngine because they don't know where to do it So it should only take around 30 seconds uh, left to install, not install, sorry, extract into the folder. Once you've finished extracting, I'll show you what uh, what you need to make uh, shortcuts of rather than going straight into the files. But to open up the CryEngine, you want to go over to bin32. And then you want to go down and you want to look for the editor. So I'm just going to right click, make a shortcut. Then I'm going to copy that and then put it straight here. Also, oh yeah, the uh, bin 64 uh, launcher and editor does not work. That's been confirmed by CryEngine. So you don't want to work, worry about that. The uh, the 32 bit version should work. Um, for 64-bit users as well. So now you've got your launcher uh, shortcut and your editor shortcut. You want to go ahead and open up the editor, and that's where you'll be prompted to log in with your forum credentials. And here we go. Nice little uh, CryEngine splash screen. 
and here we go we've been prompted for our uh, login details that we just made up for crydev.net so I'm gonna go ahead and log into that and log in and then it should open up the CryEngine editor and in the next video I'm going to go over the user interface and the viewports okay now you've got the editor up you don't want to worry about this little pop-up message and you'll have your main viewport over here in CryEngine so that's what I want to show you in this video thanks for watching and I look forward to the next one which will cover the user interface and the viewport uh, thanks for watching